tacos. All right, pull this one out. What the sh I thought you were really gonna be able to pull it out. Well, imagine it. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Uh, do, please God, do not ship this. So make sure you put a lot of force downward. How hard can this be? Don't, don't, don't take it out all the way. Okay, I'll do that other one. Yeah. Here's the apple. And it's, just for clarification, it's T50 all the way around. So you guys basically say that Crystal doesn't do anything on this channel. Um, yeah, uh, first of all, I'm no one's assistant. Okay. <laughs> Somebody called her an assistant on one of the videos. I, think, I thought it was priceless. I keep, I keep calling her my assistant now. Yeah. But anyways, no, she really does stuff, but she's usually holding the camera, so that's why you guys don't see her. And I don't know if you guys forgot, but I was pregnant. <laughs> nah, that's yeah. I guess you want to use that as an excuse. <laughs> use it as a crutch. Jesus. They can call me any name in the book, but assistant was it. That was, that's across the line. Don't you dare call me an assistant. Oh, dear. Wow. Excuse me, assistant. <laughs> First off, I'm not, definitely not your assistant. <laughs> Uh, Chris has a tattoo of Jay behind her ear because she's a big she has a big she's a big Joker fan. God, don't show that. Uh, you have to do this this portion uh, with the car on because after you take off this bolt, then you have to move it all the way back up to get out the rear bolts, and you only can only do that with the car obviously on. on. Right. There's a quick disconnect for the terminal. There is. There it is. Well, that was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, now let's. Yeah. Just move. Uh, I really don't know how to approach this, so I may need your hands. Assistant? <laughs> You're gonna get punched in the back of the head. Assistant? Assistant, please. I swear it was this down in the car. Something that's been in the car twice. <laughs> I was that fool for sure. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay. We've gotten somewhere at this point. Lucky for you. I'm the Grandmaster at Tetris. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Hey, wait. Are you okay? <laughs> Did you get your foot? <laughs> I got my whole leg. <sighs> Most likely unbolted these for some reason. Just as a fun fact. Okay. They're in? That would match it. <laughs> I'm so pissed. Welcome back to Modern Motors. We salvaged out our car <laughs> for some race car seats. Welcome back to Modern Motors. Uh, I'm in the emergency room. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't do My any... car sent me through the windshield. <laughs> okay. Can I turn the power on? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... God damn, dude. The cabin. So whenever you restart the battery, um, it's gonna do this anyways. I'm really just looking for uh, airbag lights. I said turn it on all the way to the right. Somebody said this on the forums, I don't really know. All the way to the left. Crisscross. Everybody clap Back your Back to hands. the center. See, we have Sparco seats inside the car now. Um, we got them packaged from a good friend of mine uh, named George. Uh, he helped us. He helped us get these from California. Shout out, George! Because this wouldn't have been possible if he didn't do that for us. Um, so as soon as we got these in, we were actually plan planning to do race mode, but we got carried away. And now we have seats in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we just got excited. I mean, out of all the mods, this was definitely the most we were excited for. It was like Christmas. Literally. <laughs> I think from what I saw, this used to be a $2,700 upgrade in like the 2017, 2018 models. I think it's now like a $3,300, $3,500 upgrade um, in the 2020 or 2021 models um, from Alfa Romeo. Um, you can buy these from Euro Compulsion. Um, I don't think it has the Alfa Romeo embroidery. I think they just say like SPX. I'm not too sure. I don't I don't think I've ever seen anybody install them. I'm not too sure what the uh, Euro Compulsion ones, if they're direct plug and play. I'd assume so. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the same exact seat. Uh, but these are from a crashed Quadrifoglio. These are 100% plug and play. You literally need one tool to take these out. In, in reality, this should take you like 
less than that. Less than 45 minutes. Less yeah, it than should, 45 minutes. It, should, it really shouldn't take you that long. No, it shouldn't. Once you take out your stock seats and put in the Sparkos, your odometer will be flashing because it's looking for a proxy. Um, when we do the race mode install, um, we're going to go try to head and figure that out. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll try to take it to the dealer, but I think I think we should be able to figure it out. We'll be fine. Um, but yeah, but other than that, other than the odometer blinking, there's no lights, no airbag. There's nothing like that. Um, Honestly, the doing the carbon inside the car yeah. was worse. It was just a lot harder than doing the seats. Right. If that tells you anything. The seats were, I mean. Were cake. The only hard thing was the seats are heavy. Yeah. Like, just because they're carbon don't. They're like, they're like 50 pounds. They're, <laughs> they're heavy, dude. And trying to put the seats in this car and out, yeah, it, they're heavy. That's the only hard thing. Everything else is cake. Uh, we're gonna talk about the negatives about doing this uh, because yeah. there are, there, I mean, they're honestly, if you're not really into like being hugged into your seat or being into the race car mode thing, there's actually a lot of, ne <laughs> there's actually a lot of negatives to this. Yeah. Um, so first things first is you lose all your power. So lose the memory seats, you lose, when you turn off your car, how your car, your seat just rolls back, right. you lose that. Um, you're still able to go up and down, which yeah. I guess that's cool. I'd rather go back, but whatever. Um, you still go be able to go up and down. You lose, what else do you lose? I think that's it. But then, yeah, then you get the manual slider. You get the manual, you know, up, back and forth, or up and back, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so you, you, you get that in the manual form. And, and I'm assuming the thought process behind this is to save weight, save weight. Um, so the, another negative is you only save together like four pounds. Um, you know, yep. I don't know what you'll read online or what other scales. I mean, I weighed it myself. I think we have some clips of me weighing it. Um, it's only it's only four pounds. So only four to, pounds. To, to say that hey, you're losing weight, it's it's not really a fair fair argument because you're not. You're not really I mean, you lose some. four four pounds together. <laughs> not a negative but since the whole back of it's carbon you do want to be careful with people who are sitting back here yeah. you don't want them to damage your seats like they yep. don't they don't sink in like uh the oem seats they kind of sink in, in the back for the leg room they don't do that um so it's kind of out but the reverse of it which well, i guess we're right here we'll switch to positives um you have more leg room back there yeah. for some reason i don't know how that works i think it's just because it's a thinner profile um you just have you have more room and yeah, so these seats reason. go all the way back it's for this point it goes further back than the oem seats for this point um something that i personally like yeah, i don't know if you want to see this as a negative or as a positive um i think it's a positive the lowest point on these seats is lower than the lowest point on stock seats. Mm -hmm. Other positives, it looks sick. I mean, yeah, cool factor, like a thousand points. Too. Yeah, like what? Uh, the bolstering on the side uh, for for the uh, passenger head driver, if you will. Um, when you're driving, it's, it's, it hugs you a little bit tighter. So going through turns, going through uh, aggressive driving, you just you just feel more planted into the seat, a lot more comfortable into the seat. Yep. So comfort wise, like you're gaining like a ton of points there. Um, Overall, the seats are amazing. Yeah. I mean, we love it. Some other people might not like it, but. Yeah, we kind of talked about this in the five things that we hate about the Alpha. Um, you know, we do a lot of spirit and driving, if you will, in this car. <laughs> you did not just say spirit. That's, what it, that's, what, that's how you should say it. It's a proper term. You're kidding. No, it's like spirit. Is that what they yeah, say? Yeah, spirited driving. Wow. I'm going to put that in my Instagram bio. I'm a spirited driver. I'm a spirited driver. <laughs> If you drive a little bit more aggressive, like we yeah, drive, we're spirited driving. If you drive more spirited, like us, um, these seats are extremely, extremely beneficial. Um, yep. You know, we, we said it in the uh, in the five things that we hate. We, we want to be able to slide this car. We want to be able to track this car. We want to be able to abuse this car. These are the right seats that belong in the car. If you're trying to do that, I'm trying to do that. Hundred percent. Personal review. If you care about our personal review. I, I wouldn't go back to stock seats. Uh, I think we no. we, we, said, we said that, agreed upon that. Um, for a Alpha male, for the, regardless of how you feel about the 2.0s, it still has a perfect 50 50 weight distribution. They all come with the carbon fiber drive shaft. It is a very good sports sedan. 
period. It is a good sports sedan. So having this in the car just gives you more of that sports sedan feel. Yeah. And they feel like they belong here. Absolutely. They're less horsepower or not, they do feel like they belong here. We found these on the Facebook Marketplace uh, because I'm in a whole bunch of alpha groups. If you're not in those Facebook alpha groups, you're highly missing out because a lot of parts are going for sale pretty cheap. That's how we make this build extremely affordable because we get everything used, baby. Woo! So these seats uh, originally were posted for I think like five or six thousand, something ridiculous like that. Um, I clearly didn't pay that. I only paid two thousand dollars for them. Uh, but then the the fun part of trying to get them actually to me was the next challenge. I personally don't think these will come up that often. Your next best bet is, like I said, your compulsion. Um, I don't know how those work. I don't know if they're plug and play. I don't know how those, honestly, I really don't know how they work. Um, best bet is to call your compulsion because that's what I was gonna do and ask how about them because that's what I wanted. That's why I was originally gonna plan on putting these in place. Thanks for watching another episode of Modded Motors. Uh, as always, we'll be back next week with another video. Uh, and if you guys haven't already, push the like button or the subscribe button. Make sure to do those things because they help us out. Somebody else said, don't wear glasses. You look like an amateur. Well. And it's honestly annoying. What is it, Tom? I wear sunglasses at night. Oh. I don't think that was the rhythm, but I'm pretty sure that was the song. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> like, we're not celebrities, but people know us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your face looks familiar. You're. Oh, man. I know you from somewhere. Yeah, oh, Carmi, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you make those shitty videos. <laughs>